and we are live for episode number 22 of the LSU Dynasty. Today is a big game against the number four Crimson Tide of Alabama. Hope you guys are ready. Today is just going to be a one game stream against Alabama. It is the big game. I need to put that up in the title. And now I'm not going to change the title. Yo, what's up, Nathan? So we'll go check out Alabama's team real quick. See, three years deep. Who's their players? Who do they have on their team? <clears throat> so they still got Tua at quarterback. Running back, they got Najee Harris, Brian Robinson. Dogs, what are y'all doing? Taco, stop it. Alright, let's check out fullbacks. They got a really good fullback. Receivers. Receivers are... Jesus. Alabama's going to be a tough team like they normally always are. Jerry Judy's hurt. He's going to miss this game. Defense, let's check out them left in they got a good front seven that looks like like they normally do corners or cornerbacks are all around even they got ps2 there jared maiden they got a freshman safety Go ahead and get this game underway. So this game right here will be the only game of the stream today. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's not that you can't score on these two defenses. It's just that they make you earn every yard and certainly every point. Texas A&M is apparently the team to beat be right now in the SEC West. You'd better take advantage of it against these two teams. We have four teams in That's the SEC West that are Thanks top for ten. Out the free game show, NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at half. It's actually insane right now. believe the SEC to be the best conference in the nation. Today we'll see why as two bitter Danny rivals State. take the field. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Go on tails. We're going to defer to the second half. We're going to let Tua Tungavaloa start on offense. Woods has the ball teed up and we're just about ready to get this one started. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the Yo, mistakes. What's up, Cole? You can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Looking for the corner. 
He's to the 40. Aji Harris to the outside, the breaking all the tackles. Alabama's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Outside after a nice pickup. Harris picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Oh, tongue of a low is going to keep it on the option. Makes it out to about the 39. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here. Number lower, tackle lower, however you say his and name. Hit it for a big game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Quick throw, he's at the 30, he's taken down around the 25-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Oh, he's good. Fires out to his receiver. Is it the Henry and he's tackled at and the 23. The... Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback After needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. They'll run it. He fights forward to about the go. 20. Brings up a third down and five for Alabama. That'll make it third and five. We're gonna come out in our dime. We're gonna play main coverage. Gonna throw a screen. Gets it to his tailback. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. And touchdown. they get a touchdown. Now he's the school's all-time leader in touchdown passes. Here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career. It's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long. That is the perfect start for Alabama. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's check in on the SEC where you have to be a burner to be a playmaker. The Volunteers walk out with a seven-point win. Alabama ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Well, these guys lost a lot of talent to graduation last year, and they got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing, and he can help in that area. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. Nice catch that time in coverage. Yeah, excellent job of hauling that one in. This is why he's considered by many to have one of the better set of hands today in college football. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket. There's that pass rush by Alabama. No Already getting to us. You've got to have a feel. 
almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Slings it out and it gets tipped. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. Third and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Finds his man. Let's First go. Gains of 12. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. He's tackled at the 39. Another gain of 12, dude. From the 39 yard line, first down. Around the 37 yard line. Play action under pressure. Pumps once. Steps out of bounds at the 30. This is the eighth play of this drive. Man left, man left. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. There we go. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their wind. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. From the 25 yard line. First down. Making some plays on offense right now. Caught and he's hit immediately. That brings up second and nine. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Nice play to set up first and goal. Wide receiver's role on a play action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position. Touchdown, LSU! The answer right back on our next drive. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PA. One big third down conversion. We got that first. Yard drive. And the result, seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Woods, ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Up the middle for a nice game. It's second and six. Ball on their own 29.
Oh my god, Najee Harris breaks off of a tackle and gets a gain of 12. Tackling's got to get better against this team. Oh, you gotta get that interception on them. Not gonna get that many opportunities. It's Tua. From their own 41 yard line. Gotta get them flustered back there. Just throws this one away. Guess he didn't like that play. Just got they make the stop at the five. At Devontae Smith. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Gators arrive at today's game ranked number 18 in the country. And for Florida, they're looking for their fourth straight win. The Gators have the edge 14 6. And for LSU, wow. they were hoping to move up in the conference standings today, not move back. They need this victory. He sends this one deep. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, there very confident. There we go, Clyde Edwards, to throw the football against this defense. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Brought down at about the 45. He's in a blitz, and they left the true freshman safety out there. Or I think it's a true freshman. It might be a redshirt freshman for Alabama. They left him 101. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Well, we talked all oh week with these God, coaches. Dude. And even Our when right guard didn't even block They told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They Just thought ran they right by him. Up against him. Maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker. Maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that the first, board third down, are just too and quick. long. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he hits him hard. Dude, he just got line. to him again. Same, same way. Didn't even get blocked. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Wow. Reyes to punt. 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Calls for the fair catch. Alabama's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, that can allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. But right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. Alabama is up seven. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Just throws oh, this one Tua away. was getting pressured again. rid of this one so after a quarter of play we're really seeing offensive fireworks Alabama leads it 14 7 Back to the action now here in the second quarter. I'm not even going to play press on him. Play off man. Quick out to his receiver. And still get beat. He's knocked out of bounds around the 45 yard line. These third downs, we got to get off the field. Pressure or sending. First and ten. Getting the two. Ball on the 45 yard line. Or might Alabama have to just rely on score. coverage. And down he goes at the 34. Tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 21. Well, I know I gotta get the defense going. It's just fact that no play is stopping them right now on defense. Zone's not really working. Pressure's not getting the Tua. There's just nothing the going. Yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. He is at the top of the school's touchdown reception totem pole. I don't think this record has come easily for him, but he looks just as quick and sure-handed as he did when he first got here. He's got a lot of great football left in him. I already tried zone blitz. I've tried a lot of different things to get to him. It doesn't work. Try man blitz. I try and just and straight coverage. It's just nothing working kick. to get to him. Just and the coverage got to get better. Down for a touchback. Team's probably on like a cold streak or something on defense right now. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They get nice yardage on that run. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Right. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. I threw that behind them, dude. I was on that earlier. I seen them early and then I threw it late. But then again, that tight end is pretty slow, so he didn't lead them too much. I don't know why I took that tight end out. Taken down around the 50 yard line. That makes it first and ten. I do need to take that tight end out soon, but he's better at blocking. What? Little shoe in Alabama? Uh huh. Well, I'm streaming right now. Yeah. And he's tackled at the 48 yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. From their own 48 yard line. It's second down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down right around the 46 yard line. What? That'll bring up 36. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He gets sacked on the play. I think I had the tight end open, and I missed him. Reyes is waiting open. for the snap. Oh, he got open. Uh, not really. He wasn't really open. Watching it back it on the stream, and I probably would have threw it to him. It probably would have turned into a pick. He's tackled at the 21 that yard one line. safety started coming down on him. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Off to the right, gets out to about the 20. There we go, Jacoby Stevenson. Second and ten, ball on the 21 yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Try man coverage. Third down. We're going quarters. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Elvin so Joseph. And give credit to the defense there. They played very he did force him to punt. Break up the pass. But that right there would have gave a short field. Dennis is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. And he's tackled at the 39. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Blue 14! Blue 14! Sam Pettit grew up in motion. 
He fights forward to about the 40. Nothing. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 40. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Terrence Marshall Jr. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's a game of 13 on the play. The out routes are killing them right now. Maybe we can catch them with this play right here, the screen to the right side. Hopefully they don't read it. They read it. The defender had it and then dropped it. That's a defensive lineman, dude. Oh my god. Such a bad play. Well, I could have caught him off guard a little bit. Play action. He gets rid of this one. Third down, and they need to get it to the twenty seven. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Passes to the wide out, oh, and he can't he pull it in. Oh, he dropped it. I had to get that out quick, too, because that he wasn't blocking the right guard. 54 yards, dude. Can we make this? He gets it up. The kick is no good. Our kicker cannot make it. For studio update. The Gators come into this one ranked 18th. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Gators' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 42. From the 42-yard line, first down. Oh, we're just getting unlucky right now. Here's a give up the middle. Tackle there we go. Right away. Gonna throw it short over the middle. He's the first down for Bama. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty eight. Catches it and he's looking for more. Tackle around the 20 yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. No pressure up front from nine. us. They're eating up a lot move. of field on this drive. I'm this really way. impressed with their ball control. 
the middle for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they make the stop just outside the I don't have to warn. Line. We get a defensive stand. down and goal to go ball on the one and the goal line defense digging in here touchdown Alabama and we cannot Bama 28 to 7 and a halfback took it in for the score yep he punched that in from a short distance he had great blocking up front on that play converts the extra point a nine play 63 yard drive and a touchdown as a result Alabama lines up for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we really have to go far up in these next nice drives. drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 40. We get the ball at half. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken there down we go. around the 32-yard line. Charles Singleton is the one making the plays right now. Zipped it out, and that oh, that should have been picked, dude. I didn't see him over the middle. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Caught out in the open. Steps out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That'll make it 35. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes at the 14. And he has a huge gain. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. First and 10. Ball on the 14. He unloads it. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Let's go. We got a touchdown right before half. And he adds the extra point. Woods. 
let's not let him take a back. Let's make him bring it out. Oh, and a high booming kick. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 33. They have one timeout. They ran Play the ball man very up 3D. well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Bro, the dream would be to get a pick right here, or force fumble or anything. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So at the end of the half, the Crimson Tide in front. 28 now 14 28 going to half. We get the ball back. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both these offenses were off the chains in the first That's half. Been an Defenses intense were first half. Powerless. David, you know I'm your biggest fan. I believe you're going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Great defender, but every game wasn't perfect. I, I remember a freshman game that you had at Georgia against Florida. Gators kind of got it rolling. What's that like for a defense out there when, when you feel like they're a step or two or three ahead of you all the time? Well, it's frustrating, and a lot of times you don't have the answers. I mean, you sit there and you try new things, and you try the stuff you tried all during the week, and nothing works and then you try something else and it doesn't work and sometimes it's just that the better players are on offense and their schemes the second a quarter level, underway than you are. all right Reese and David thanks guys second half action just about ready to start here excellent kick he's got the corner across the 30 and they push him out at the 43 yard line that's a great return There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Check, check. And he's leveled and no the one yard line. Open. Just great coverage by Bama to start the drive. Dude, this dude got his third sack on the game. So the sack makes this a second and long. Now let's take a shot deep first. Play against Bama. Catch him off guard. Pass complete and taken down immediately. McKinney with the tackle at the 40 yard line. That brings up third and 14. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Tackle made at the 48. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. We got a great push up front. We got that first. Can't just punt it back to that point. Makes it to there we the go, Clyde Edwards to Lair again. Able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 34-yard line, first down. Making the plays on offense right now. There he goes. Jefferson, hold that block. He's at the 20. Out of bounds. At about the 17-yard line. Go offense. Maybe we can get Justin Jefferson here. He's got a touchdown. Let's go. One possession game. And he 
tacks on the extra point. Let's go, guys. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Gators were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Florida, they continue their winning way. LSU is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Alabama is up by a touchdown. Three interceptions dropped this game. Three of them. From their own 25 yard line. That is the third drop pick. No. And then they come right back with a strike like that. Like, that is the thing that is our problem right now. Is like, we're not getting turnovers. We're not stopping them. Like, there's nothing I can do when the ball is right there in my player's hands. And they just drop it. And he throws it away. their own 45 yard line second down and it's caught and he's brought down quickly Bring him down at about the 45. Let's go. Now what is Bama going to do? Are they going to punt it? No, they're going to go for it. Looks like they're going to go for Bama's it. Bama's doing down. our strat, dude. Come on, defense. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Oh, you are literally line. all there. The whole defense, so many white jerseys, and they cannot bring them behind the line of scrimmage, dude. Probably should have switched the big hit to conservative, dude. Like, there was so many white jerseys. They couldn't stop Najee Harris. him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's on the run. Oh my God. He's at the 40. They are gonna miss. He's taken down at the 30 yard line. Tyler Taylor misses to uh, on the edge. See, after we get a big play, the defense just isn't making that next big play. Like they're not making consecutive big plays. They're just making one. Short throw over the middle and it's picked and there's off. our big play that we needed. 
great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It, didn't look it like wasn't the quarterback even, even saw the linebacker hanging in that nobody, area. he just it dropped it. In the right spot at the right time. From their own 42 yard line. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Goes Edwards Hilaire, first down, LSU. Let's let him get a rest. Ray Dennis up in. And he gets smash mouth destroyed. Hell at the chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Oh my god, 70. You have to block him. You can't be serious, just keep letting him come untouched. Put your hands on him. Ingram. That is another sack. Like, there's nothing you can do when he just comes untouched every time. They are turning it up a notch. Wants it all going long. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. Justin Jefferson. That makes it first and goal. A touchdown away from a tie. High ball game. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. set and he looks ready to kick this one deep and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Alabama's coaches just got to be happy I'd love to coach a kid like this oh I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this and another great performance by him individually and for this offense I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Harris takes the Oh my god, Najee Harris has a lot of room on the left side. At about the 49. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 49. He's going to try and scramble. It and was sacked. At the 49 yard line. The protection broke Finally, down. Finally, we get to two. In a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play.
downward there. Jacob Phillips in the backfield. down now and they need to get it inside the 41 and get the third down they're gonna look for the screen and they got blockers all out in front dude make the stop at the 37 another third down conversion I can't wait till after the game is over to go see how many third downs Bama got against us across the middle to his tight end brought down at the 12-yard line from the 12-yard line first down Najee Harris up the middle. He's tackled just down to the one the for line. Bama. <clears throat> they put everyone up on the line. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. The defense. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That brings up second and goal. Heading to the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter time. So at the end of the third quarter, tie ball game here. We're all knotted at 28. Oh, dude, they're going to go full spread here. Overall well, tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. I don't know what Tua got in plan, but we're coming out in quarters. Just throws Tua just this gets one this away. one away to the back of the end zone. Now they're going to go back under center. So here we go. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to break the tie. A short yardage defense here. Tackle. Got him in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Jarrell Cherry, the one that got the interception, gets to stop on third down, and Bama will try a short field goal. Should be a guaranteed. Down hold is good, and oh, Bama almost missed it. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Alabama yet set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He makes his way out to about the 35. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. He's taken down at the 43. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Right, Edwards Hilaire, he's letting. He's over here having a solid game. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
There we go, Clyde Edwards Hilaire again. First down. Keep it on the ground. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Trusting Clyde Edwards Hilaire a lot. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. It's a gain of two. Trust him because he's. I don't think he's our fastest. I think that Ray Dixon is. But Clyde Edward Tolaire has made a lot of plays far so far this game. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll run it. And they hey, hit the program. As soon as another running back comes into the game, we lose four. For such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. We got Charles Singleton down to the 10. Brett Barnes is becoming a legend. And this play is number eight on the drive. It's a great tackle at the nine, nine yard. line. From the nine yard line, second down. And he's level at the 12. Now Bama's defense starting to toughen up. Tenth play of this drive. Listen to this place. Pressured and brought down. No one open. I was waiting for Terrence Marshall Jr. to cut, and he never got there in time. And then when he did, Alabama was already in front of him. It's going to be a tie ball game unless if something low. happens. He gets it up and it splits the Got it. Big that game at 31 kick. now. It's up to the defense now to make some plays and hold on to this lead. Woods ready to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. They were going to lob it. Oh, my God. And he Across breaks off of the tackle, too. The Yikes. Henry Ruggs, the third. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. 
That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. This young man really making his job look easy. It's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. That quickly incomplete. Dude, the ball came off of his hands. Y'all gotta make a play off of that. We get beat. Then he drops it. Second down, ten to go. And then it goes to an LSU defender who doesn't react. He lets it go. And that one's fallen in. Foot's out of bounds. Third down. Play it safe. Quarters. Man coverage. Let's play pass. They're going to go with another screen, dude. We stopped them, thank God. I thought that that screen was going to work again, dude. They've called that three times on third downs, and they'll call on the field goal unit here for it this almost worked again. Attempts. Less than three minutes in the game. We're down in three. They're going to look for a field goal. I think Bama's letting the clock run down. It's up. And the and kick is right down the, the middle. Emma, three point lead. Like ready to kick this one off. Two minutes left to go. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong, the other team can't do anything wrong. Right here has became. An interesting game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one now it's all in the hand of our true freshman quarterback. And he's got his true freshman receiver. And he's tackled at the 50-yard line. Charles Singleton. From the 50. It's first down. It's all good, man. This game right here has been a good one. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. He's scrambling. He's under pressure. He's taken down at the 43 yard line. LSU a timeout. just took their first time out. They've got two remaining. Let me get my players all fresh. Four yards away here on third down. Just over a minute left. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Got it with room to run, and he is drilled at the 27 yard line. That's a game seven on the play. Yeah, I have the Georgia game on. The one game I've been or I was uh, wanting to pay attention to more of is the Penn State one, Penn so State Iowa. And about two yards to go. Uh, I've been watching Georgia one. Okay. Nice right out of the way, first down.
Throws complete and he's hit right away. With the reception. Number 13 on the tackle at the 16 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 36. Mike 36. Three's out. Down at the two. Quick throw and he's got his receiver again. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That gives him 100 yards in the game. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. It's the ninth play of the drive. A one time out. Up the middle for a nice game. Uh, LSU's out of time. Call a timeout. Try to run a quick. From the one yard line. Second down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Bro, that right there was the scariest play I think I've ever called is calling a slant at the one yard line with no timeouts. Take a sack, that game's over with. Game's over with right there. Now Bama has he eight seconds. The with the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Kicking this to the back of the end zone. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, Brad, you just said it. He's a senior quarterback, and that experience is so important. It allows you to just sit back and comfortably read the defenses and then eventually find the man that's open and deliver the football. And let's also recognize Eight seconds. the offensive line. This defense has been coming for Alabama. This quarterback. And, and to the offensive line's credit, they've given him enough time lower. to be able to read the defense and make good throws. They got to go deep every play the unless they want to try to take one shot or one Four short pass. Who's gonna have it and who try won't. to get their time out. He goes downtown. Missed him. Bro, if he made that catch, breaks off of those two tackles, gets into the end zone, I probably would cry. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 38-34, Tigers. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? LSU comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans You're and the will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great How interesting to this, this game is. Wait till you see the stats of what, how the game started out. Barnes threw for 332 yards. Free A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. Go to the game stats. We'll show player stats first. We got sacked six times against Bama. We only got the two of once. He threw one interception. And wait till you see that interception. He had three touchdown passes. We had two. Rushing. Tay Provence had two touchdowns on the ground. But. He just wasn't fast enough to beat Alabama's defense, so I was using Clyde Edwards Hilaire a lot more. They're running. <clears throat> Najee Harris ran the ball 16 times for 105 yards, one touchdown. Receiving the true freshman, two true freshmen broke out, or pretty much broke out in this game. Charles Singleton and our true freshman quarterback, these are their breakout games. 
Justin Jefferson also had six catches for a touchdown. Jamar Chase had four with a drop. Terrence Marshall Jr., he only had two, but that one catch that he had was a pretty big one on one drive. Defense. Out of anybody that I thought would get the interception, it was Jarrell Cherry, our outside linebacker. Their team, they didn't get any turnovers, but this dude right here dominated our offensive line. He came untouched, at least, I'm pretty sure every single time he came untouched. Yo, what's up, Ethan? So, let's talk about the scoring summary. We went down against Bama 28-7. And came back against them in the second half. We scored with 10 seconds left. Got the ball back. Scored. Got a stop on them. Got another touchdown. Had the game tied up. Bama kicks field goal. We kick a field goal. They kick another one. And then we take the lead in the fourth quarter. Team stats, pretty even there. Bama had 462, we had 445. Third down conversion, it felt like Bama converted a lot on third downs more than that, but a few of them did turn into field goals afterwards. This game right here was just a fun one to play. In the middle of this game, the big game changing play. I think it starts in the third. Right here. This right here is the game changing play. The fullback is the one who gives Tua his interception. He drops it. And that's how we get our only interception, and that right there was a game-changing play. Because that right there makes it from a one-possession game to us tying it up with them. Because they they're about to take a two-possession lead on us again. Who was my loss to? It was against Florida. Yeah, I have the Georgia and Florida game on right now. Actually, I can cheat the system just a little bit. I simulate I can put more points to my players To get Joe Wilson also center, I'll put 650. Is there anybody else I need to put more points on? Actually, yeah, I'll put more on that dude. Just get him on the team. simulate to next week 
by the way, this right here, the Alabama game, is going to be the only game of this stream. Because I kind of want to watch some more of the football games. But I might go live again tonight, depending on who all gets on to play Call of Duty or nobody gets on to play cod i might i'm not sure if i'll stream madden but i've been testing out sliders on there and i think i'm getting a nice set it's pretty much same time or like length as uh lsu dynasty like i'm playing on eight minute quarters and i've been getting good games out of it like i played a test game with the uh, chargers against chiefs i ended up losing that game 31 to 38 then I played a test game with the Broncos versus the Seahawks, and I won that one 17 to 10. The sliders I've been playing with on Madden have been pretty decent. And the team that I was thinking about using, like, I know like we were talking about using the Cardinals, but after the trade with Amari Cooper, and then also Khalil Mack, I was thinking about using the Oakland Raiders. But then I also was thinking about the Cincinnati Bengals. Because they, Andy Dalton starting to get up in age. Receivers are getting older. Their defense is alright. They're not the best. So I'm not sure which team I'm going to use. I might end up trying out both of them. Like make one season, play a few few years with one team and then play another one with a different one. Let's go check out the top 25 real quick, see who's all there still. Texas A&M is number five, we're number six. Georgia's number six. Bro, what? Look at the SEC here. Texas A&M, LSU, Georgia, Alabama, Auburn. And you got Florida, Kentucky, South Carolina. Jesus Christ, all SEC's in the top 25. Half of them's in the top 10. But one of these are going to drop out. Auburn or Georgia. BCS. Oh, they're number four, we're five, Georgia seven, Alabama is number nine in the BCS. again all right we got the lead on him but I'm pretty sure he does visit with Georgia okay yeah, visit with Georgia hopefully we can go into the off season with the lead for our running game is gonna be sick up in the next year Just max everybody out because then you need backup safeties to build up. Should get this dude. Now let's go search. So we still need a safety and a middle linebacker. We should be able to get them too. If we can't, we can just always move like an outside linebacker. Let's go lock percentage less than 25. Something I should look at more is receivers. Try to find a gym. You're gonna have to look at them. This dude has a four-four-eight speed. Maybe the gym. About this dude. He has a four-four. Oh, 
scout these few players. Found a gem receiver. That's one. Dang. Kyle McKinney. Plus four, and now of Jordan Johnson. Dang. Touchdown, Georgia. Let's switch it over to the Penn State game real quick. We did find this dude. We're going in. Penn State's beating Iowa. Seven hundred on him. Actually, I can't put seven hundred. So these guys right here, we're just gonna take them off the board. So Drew, Ribery, I, I have to learn his name. Jesus Christ, uh, Pharaoh. I don't know. I'm not good with names, but hopefully we can get him. Noah Herbert, Jameer Bird. Which, where are we at up in the top class right now? We're number six. Alabama is number one, of course. We have 11 scholarships remaining. Also, so we only can do a few more. Yeah, I seen the touchdown by Georgia. That's the reason why I changed the channel. So Brett Barnes has nine interceptions, eleven touchdowns. Hasn't played the best. Clyde Edwards Hilaire only has two touchdowns rushing, but he hasn't played terrible either. Justin Jefferson. The touchdown against Bama was his first touchdown catch. percentage that is 71 well guys I think I'm gonna end the stream right here I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the football games for the day I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I had an incredible game against Alabama. We went down 28-7 to and made the comeback to beat them. So that game right there was a very good one. I really enjoyed playing that one. Hopefully the games continue like that, which they pretty much have been through this whole series. Like we lost to Florida, wasn't even close. Should have got beat by Bama even worse if it wasn't for our team just stepping up. But we have some big games coming up. Middle Tennessee State is apparently a good team at 7-3. and three. Texas A&M is 9-1. And, and then Arkansas is 5-5. Five and, five. and you already know, every time when you play against a rivalry, rivalry game, Arkansas, <clears throat> Arkansas is always a tough team to play. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe for some more of the LSU Dynasty. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, man.